Today, I found this incredible bag of vintage Beyblades from Facebook Marketplace. Let's check out and see what's inside. What's going on? Welcome to another video. Today, I picked up another bag of vintage Beyblades. So, on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, from time to time, people post just old Beyblades that they're looking to get rid of or sell, and I have notifications turned on, so I am just on the lookout for these kinds of, of products. These are vintage Beyblades. You can tell that we have like the plastic gen, we have like the HMS generation here. And um, yeah, this is very nostalgic for me. And uh, we're going to open this up and see what we have inside. A lot of times you see the picture and you can't really tell, you know, exactly everything that's in it. But um, that's what I love about it is you pick this up, you buy it, and then you just take it home and open it up and see what you get inside. So let's, uh, let's open this up and see what we have here. First of all, we have, check that out. These are the HMS launchers. That is wicked. And then this part here is what you use to lock the, uh, the bit in place. So we're going to sort it out. We got one launcher. We got another launcher in blue. These are legit. You can feel just the quality of these compared to, uh, to fake ones. That's very cool. And they still have their stickers on them as well. This is from the uh, Drasil, I believe. Drasil HMS. That is very nice. Then we have one more. This one here doesn't have stickers, but still very cool. Still very awesome. Then we have a, uh, oh, we have a grip launcher. I haven't seen these in such a long time. Yeah, look at that. That's here. This just slides into it, I think. And then I have a whole bunch of these, which um, you can interchange and use, but that's very, very cool. All right, now to get to the, the best part. We got some Beyblades here. So we have this one. I don't know what this one is called. Voltex. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. It says here, metal weight system. Ooh, it's got the metal tip on the bottom there. That is really, let's just dump all this out and see what we have inside. All right, let's try to put some of these together here. So we're going to put one of these weighted discs just onto there like that. There we go. We got one vintage bay put together, Voltex. That's very, very awesome. Um, then we have, we have a dress seal. What's interesting about this I'm noticing is, looks like we've got like a drawnser part in the middle there. Nonetheless, that's very cool. We've got a few stickers missing, but we got the uh, bit chip, which is quite nice. Ooh, let me have this HMS blade. This is the main reason why I wanted to pick this up so badly is because we have these HMS blades. These basically popped up right near the end of um, the Blade Breakers series. And I think Kenny had to make these from scratch because the um, Beyblade organization blocked them from getting, you know, parts and stuff. So these are really, really, really neat. I have Black Dronzer and I have Drasil. So I'm hoping to grow my collection of HMS blades. So that's gonna go perfectly with that. We've got Dronzer V. If you look inside, oh, okay, I see what's going on. So the these things are all just a little bit mixed up. Um, so this is supposed to go with that purple one. Galeon, I think, um, and then the blue one in Drasil is supposed to go in here. I'll change all that up later, but look at that. We've got Dronzer V2, I believe. That still looks really, 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 really nice. That's awesome. All right, then we also have this one. This is Galeon, I believe. I think this is supposed to have like a attack ring somewhere here, but that's missing. 
but that's okay. That looks really nice, a nice purple blade with the plastic tip. We've got this one. This looks like it's a type of Lulborg. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. This is um, Lulborg's, ooh, look at that weighted disc. That is very cool. I've never seen this one before. So this is a nice little surprise. This, at first I thought was like Dronzer, metal Dronzer, but no, that's, that's a Wallboard for sure. Takara. Oh, so these are Takara Tony blades. That's pretty awesome, love that. Then we've got this one. Ah, this is metal Dronzer, I think. Ooh, that's a cool ring too, look at that. A lot of these I've never seen. Hmm. And I think that's like a magnet core there as well. So that's that's really cool. I'm gonna have to give these all a bit of a, a quick wipe down and clean, but uh, that's really neat. Next we have this one. This one's another HMS blade. This one's really cool. No stickers on it. I might buy the stickers um, on Etsy or online somewhere, but check this out. This moves. So I think when it comes into contact with the bay, this kind of adds a little bit of defense. So that's really nice. We got a bit of a plasticky rubbery tip on the bottom there. But that is definitely vintage. That's sweet. And finally, we have the Drigger Attack Blade. This is Drigger HMS. And yeah, this this is awesome. This is really cool. Drigger Drigger HMS. Sweet. And then we also have a black launcher there uh, but yeah this is uh, basically what I picked up today um, from Facebook marketplace I'm always gonna stay on the lookout for more vintage bays but it's really fun you know when you see something like this pop up and you uh, go and pick it up and see kind of what's in the bag and what they've got but uh, yeah if you enjoy um, hunting bays like this uh, let me know in the comments let me know what you found um, whether it's through Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or wherever you uh, shop for vintage bays, I'm interested to know. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow my channel for more Beyblade content, whether that's Beyblade X, vintage bays, whichever. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.